This is the circle proof. To prove the circle equation, first we need the distance formula, which will need two general points, an x1, y1 point, and an x2, y2 point. Here's our first point, x1, y1. Here's our second point, x2, y2. To do the distance formula, we'll need to draw a right triangle between these two points. Each side is, each leg is going to be an A and a B, and then the hypotenuse will be a C. Now we need to find out what the leg A is. Leg A can be represented by a one-dimensional distance on the x-axis. X1 is that point, and X2 is the other point. Let's go ahead and do the Y2 and Y1s also for the one-dimensional distance to find the leg of B. One-dimensional distance is the absolute value, subtracting the two. So let's go ahead and do the absolute value of the x1, x2 point. That's its one-dimensional distance. And we'll do the one-dimensional distance for the y or the b leg. Once we have the one-dimensional distances for the legs, we go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem to find out what C is. A squared plus B squared equals C squared is the Pythagorean theorem. A is the absolute values of the one-dimensional distance. B is the absolute values of the Y's. Let's not forget our squareds also. We're letting C equal the distance between the first and the second points. <clears throat> since we have absolute value, we no longer need the absolute values since they're squared. So we'll go ahead and get rid of the <clears throat> rewriting the equation <clears throat> and taking the square root of both sides. Solving for D, we take the square root of both sides. And there is our distance formula proof. From there, we'll go ahead and do a general form of a circle. The general center of a circle is usually denoted as HK. H representing the x1 value, K representing the y1 value. From the center, out comes a radius. Now, we use all that information and plug that in to our distance formula. The distance formula is going to be rewritten. Square root of x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared equals d. And then we're going to replace all the values that we have from our circle. We're also going to let x2 and y2 be any general point x and y. At this step, that is the circle formula. And this is our proof.